Hello everyone. I'm still on Life in the UK test. I'm bringing you more videos. This test is basically for people who are applying for citizenship or indefinitely to remain in the UK. So this test is one of the requirements which you must provide during further leave to remain in the UK or indefinitely to remain in the UK. So please pay attention and learn from this. One. What significant legal principle was established by the Magna Carta in 1215? A. The divine right of kings. B. The right to bear arms. C. The principle of habeas corpus. D. The establishment of parliamentary sovereignty. Answer. C. The principle of habeas corpus. The Magna Carta established the legal principle of habeas corpus protecting individuals from unlawful detention. Question 2. Describe the impact of the Black Death on the social structure of 14th century England. A. Increased the power of the monarchy. B. Led to a significant decrease in the population and labor shortages. C. Strengthened the feudal system. D. Had no significant impact. Answer. B led to a significant decrease in the population and labor shortages. The Black Death resulted in a drastic population decline, causing labor shortages and eventually leading to social and economic changes. Question 3. What was the main consequence of the English Civil War in the mid-17th century? A. The establishment of a republic. B. The reinforcement of the divine right of kings. C. The beginning of the British Empire. D. The creation of the Commonwealth of Nations. Answer. A. The establishment of a republic. The main consequence of the English Civil War was the establishment of a short-lived republic, the Commonwealth, under Oliver Cromwell. Question 4. How did the glorious revolution of 1688 change the power dynamics between the monarchy and parliament? A. It abolished the monarchy. B. It established the supremacy of parliament over the monarchy. C. It eliminated parliament. D. It made the monarchy the sole legislative body. Answer. B. It established the supremacy of parliament over the monarchy. The Glorious Revolution significantly altered the balance of power firmly establishing Parliament's supremacy over the monarchy. Question 5. Detail the significance of the Act of Union 1707 between England and Scotland. A. It separated Scotland from England. B. It created the United Kingdom of Great Britain. C. It established Scottish independence. D. It dissolved the Scottish Parliament. Answer. B. It created the United Kingdom of Great Britain. The Act of Union 1707 merged the parliaments of England and Scotland, creating the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Question 6. Explain the causes and outcomes of the Jacobite rebellions in the 18th century. A. To restore the Stuart monarchy to the throne. B. To establish a republic in Britain. C. To annex Ireland. D. To promote the Protestant Reformation. Answer. A. To restore the Stuart monarchy to the throne. The Jacobite rebellions were aimed at restoring the exiled Stuart monarchy to the throne of Britain. Question 7. What were the main effects of the agricultural revolution on British society? A. Decline in agricultural production. B. Increased urbanization and agricultural efficiency. C. Reinforcement of the feudal system. Answer. B. Increased urbanization and agricultural efficiency. The agricultural revolution led to increased agricultural efficiency and contributed to urbanization in Britain. Question 8. Describe the contributions of the Industrial Revolution to the global standing of the British Empire. A. Made Britain the world's leading colonial power. B. Decreased Britain's economic influence. C. 
isolated Britain from European affairs. D. Led to the decline of the British Empire. Answer. A. Made Britain the world's leading colonial power. The Industrial Revolution transformed Britain into the world's leading industrial and colonial power. Question 9. What role did Britain play in the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade? A. Britain was the last major power to abolish the slave trade. B. Britain played a leading role in abolishing the slave trade. C. Britain opposed the abolition of the slave trade. D. Britain had no significant role in the abolition of the slave trade. Answer. B. Britain played a leading role in abolishing the slave trade. Britain was instrumental in the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade, passing the Slave Trade Act in 1807. Question 10. How did the Great Reform Act of 1832 reform the British electoral system? A. It extended the vote to all adult males. B. It made no significant changes. C. It expanded the electorate and addressed electoral malpractice. D. It introduced universal suffrage. Answer. C. It expanded the electorate and addressed electoral malpractice. The Great Reform Act of 1832 made significant changes by expanding the electorate and reforming the electoral system to make it more representative. Question 11. Detail the causes and impacts of the Irish potato famine in the mid-19th century. A. Over-reliance on a single crop and disease led to mass starvation and emigration. B. A war caused widespread destruction of crops and infrastructure. C. Economic policies favoured industrial over agricultural development. D. It was a result of a trade embargo with mainland Europe. Answer. A. Over-reliance on a single crop and disease led to mass starvation and emigration. The Irish potato famine was caused by a potato disease that devastated the crop, which was a staple food in Ireland, leading to mass starvation, death and emigration. Question 12. Explain the significance of the Crimean War for the British military and healthcare systems. A. It demonstrated the need for military reform and led to the professionalization of the army. B. It resulted in the collapse of the British military. C. It showed the superiority of British naval power. D. It had no significant impact. Answer. A. It demonstrated the need for military reform and led to the professionalization of the army. The Crimean War exposed deficiencies in the British military and healthcare systems, leading to significant reforms including the professionalization of the army and improvements in military medical care, notably through the work of Florence Nightingale. Question 13. What was the purpose of the Public Health Act of 1848 in Britain? A to nationalize healthcare services. B. To address the cholera epidemic through improved sanitation. C. To restrict immigration from disease-prone countries. D. To establish private healthcare facilities. Answer. B. To address the cholera epidemic through improved sanitation. The Public Health Act of 1848 was enacted in response to public health crises like the cholera epidemic, establishing a centralized board of health to oversee improvements in sanitation and public health infrastructure. Question 14. How did the Education Act of 1870 aim to change British society? A. By making education compulsory for all children aged 5 to 10. B by banning child labor. C. By establishing universities in every city. B. By privatizing all schools. Answer. A. By making education compulsory for all children aged 5 to 10. The Education Act of 1870 aimed to make elementary education available for all children in England and Wales, marking the beginning of state involvement in education. Question 15. 
what led to the formation of the Labour Party, and what were its initial objectives. A. The need for a political voice for the working class and to promote labour rights and social equality. B. The desire to support the aristocracy and traditional industries. C. A focus on environmental conservation. D. The promotion of free market policies. Answer. A. The need for a political voice for the working class and to promote labour rights and social equality. The Labour Party was formed to represent the interests of the working class, with initial objectives focused on labour rights, social reforms, and equality. Question 16. Detail the implications of the Treaty of Versailles for Britain after World War I. A. It led to immediate economic prosperity. B. It resulted in territorial gains in Europe. C. It imposed significant military restrictions on Britain. D. It established Britain as a key architect of the post-war order, though with economic strains. Answer. D. It established Britain as a key architect of the post-war order, though with economic strains. The Treaty of Versailles had Britain playing a central role in its drafting, shaping the post-war international order, but also dealing with economic challenges resulting from the war. Question 17. How did the general strike of 1926 influence labour relations in the UK? A. It led to a ban on all labour unions. B. It resulted in immediate improvements in working conditions and wages. C. It highlighted the need for dialogue between workers and employers, eventually leading to labour reforms. D. It had no significant impact. Answer. C. It highlighted the need for dialogue between workers and employers, eventually leading to labour reforms. The general strike of 1926 was a pivotal event that influenced labour relations by highlighting the workers' grievances and the need for reform and dialogue. Question 18. What were the key features and impacts of the Beveridge Report? A. It advocated for the reduction of public welfare programmes. B. It proposed the creation of the welfare state to combat want, disease, ignorance, squalor and idleness. C. It focused exclusively on health care reform. D. It recommended privatising social services. Answer. B. It proposed the creation of the welfare state to combat want, disease, ignorance, squalor and idleness. The Beveridge Report was instrumental in laying the foundations for the modern British welfare state, including the establishment of the National Health Service. Question 19. Describe the process and impact of decolonization on the British Empire post-World War II. A. It led to the rapid expansion of the British Empire. B. It involved the peaceful transition of power and independence to former colonies, reshaping Britain's role in the world. C. It resulted in Britain annexing more territories. D. There was no significant process of decolonization. Answer. B. It involved the peaceful transition of power and independence to former colonies, reshaping Britain's role in the world. The decolonization process marked a significant reshaping of the British Empire, with many territories gaining independence and leading to the transformation of Britain's global role. Question 20. How did the National Health Service, NHS, come into being? And what were its foundational principles? A. It was established as a for-profit organisation to provide health care. B. It was created following the Beveridge Report to provide health care based on need, need, not ability to pay, free at the point of use. C. It was founded to serve only the working class. D. It was established to promote private health care insurance. Answer. B. It was created following the Beveridge Report to provide health care based on need, not ability to pay, free at the point of use. The NHS was established in 1948, inspired by the ideals of the Beveridge Report. 
with the foundational principles of providing comprehensive health to all citizens, regardless of their financial situation. Question 21. Detailed the significance of the Suez Crisis of 1956 for British foreign policy. A. It confirmed Britain's dominance over the Suez Canal. B. It highlighted the decline of British imperial power and the need for a reassessment of foreign policy. C. It led to an increase in Britain's territorial holdings in the Middle East. D. It resulted in a strengthened alliance between Britain and Egypt. Answer. B. It highlighted the decline of British imperial power and the need for a reassessment of foreign policy. The Suez Crisis marked a pivotal moment in British foreign policy, illustrating the limitations of Britain's power without the support of key allies like the United States. Question 22. Explain the economic and social impacts of the winter of discontent in 1978 to 1979. A. It showcased the strength of the British economy. B. It led to widespread contentment with the government's handling of economic issues. C. It resulted in significant improvements in social services. D. It demonstrated the challenges of inflation and public sector strikes, leading to a loss of confidence in the government. Answer. D. It demonstrated the challenges of inflation and public sector strikes, leading to a loss of confidence in the government. The winter of discontent was characterized by widespread strikes and public dissatisfaction, significantly impacting the British economy and society and contributing to a change in government. Question 23. What were the main goals of the British government's economic policies during Margaret Thatcher's premiership? A. To expand the welfare state and increase public spending. B. To nationalize key industries and expand government control over the economy. C. To reduce the role of the state in the economy, privatize state-owned enterprises, and curb the power of unions. D. To increase taxes and government regulation of businesses. Answer. C. To reduce the role of the state in the economy, privatize state-owned enterprises, and curb the power of unions. Margaret Thatcher's economic policies focused on deregulation, privatization, and reducing the influence of trade unions, aiming to shift towards a more market-oriented economy. Question 24. Detail the causes and resolutions of the Falklands War in 1982. A. The war was fought over territorial disputes in Europe, resulting in a peace treaty. B. The conflict arose from a fishing dispute, resolved through international arbitration. C. Argentina's invasion of the Falkland Islands led to a military conflict with Britain, which resulted in the re-establishment of British control over the islands. T. The war was initiated by Britain to expand its territory, ending with an annexation of new lands. Answer. C. Argentina's invasion of the Falkland Islands led to a military conflict with Britain, which resulted in the re-establishment of British control over the islands. The Falklands War began with Argentina's invasion, and the conflict ended with Britain successfully reasserting its sovereignty over the islands.